homelessness, jobless, frustration, parenting, not being able to see their children. I was just um, unemployed. I'm a five-time felon, have a background. Bills were just piling up and everything was just getting challenging. Everything that was added on, I think in that first year was up to, it was almost 15,000, I think it was. If they start seeing child support is coming out of their paychecks and they're not taking anything home, they just give up. It's just a lot of frustration where guys is like, I don't even get to see my kids, so why do I have to pay child support? Before Rhodes, I pretty much was reaching out to any resources I could find, you know, help me in the situation I was in. So the Rhodes program is, uh, stands for Reliable Opportunities to Advance Dad Support. And it's a partnership with the Child Support Services Division of the Ramsey County Attorney's Office and the Workforce Solutions Program. We're giving them a chance to tell us, what do you want to do with your life instead of us saying, all right, you're working now, we're taking payments out of your check. Men want to be more than just a paycheck to their kids. That's where we come in. So long as somebody's participating in the program, we will help them with the child support side. They don't have to worry about paying, they don't have to worry about their license being held and other things. Rhodes is basically a restart. It's a, let me help you get you back on your feet. A lot of them are like, this is just another program, like another program I'm gonna sign up for and probably do nothing. And it's like, they have all these questions, is it gonna be successful, is it really gonna work? Child support calls and tells them all the details. And then I call and I just invite them into the office. It's to you know, say, hey, let's start over. Let's see how we can best help you to, you know, be able to still live your life, but still be able to take care of your children. They told me that they were, you know, just starting a program and told me what, a little bit about what it was about and everything sounded good to me. So, you know, I came down for the meeting. I listened to her story. She told me what it was about. Um, we ended up meeting, um, signing some paperwork. They had like the projector up and they showed us like the, the goals of the program. As we're going through slides and stuff, a lot of dads are looking at me like, well, can you really help me with my past child support amounts? Or can you really help me get a job or get an interview or anything like that? And I think it's important at that time for us to build that relationship and really create this understanding like I'm here to help you, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. They really set it out to where they put everything on the table and told me how did they work the program and who was involved in the program and how they got together to get the program going. And, and they just gave us the, the choice, you know, to be involved in. It offers housing, it offers job counseling, offers schooling. We just have a range of opportunities for them. So. I just think that Rhodes is, is, is the best program for them. There's different avenues and different paths they can take. So one thing I do like immediately in the beginning is like, well, what are your goals? Where do you see yourself? Or where do you want to see yourself? You know, don't even think about your children. Don't think about anything but yourself. Like have a selfish moment to really think about yourself and figure out where do you want to see yourself, you know, in the next year or so. It's a really great program. They do really help you. Um, with child support needs, uh, workforce needs. The agents that are assigned to the Rhodes Project are highly experienced, they're highly skilled, They've, they're, they're hand-picked to do this work. I could always like call Tatiana and like ask her if she knew about any people that would help me. Tatiana would help get me back and forth do my schooling, to jobs like that with gas cards and stuff like that. Give me other job leads. We've helped fathers get interview clothing, like that's one big thing. We'll give gift cards, you know, target gift cards for clothing items that they can get, give referrals to different programs and organizations that help with interview clothing, you know, give transportation assistance, bus cards, gas cards, so they can get to and from. And at the end of the day, all I just ask is like, just follow up, let me know how it went. Like she would show me how to make a planner, set a goal, you know, and then set like a deadline. They come up with the goals themselves. They let me know what they want to do. When we check in, it's like, hey, well, how did that go for you? You know, some dads come in, they're like, oh, well, I didn't get to get to that yet, but can I get a gift card? And I'm like, but I need you to do your part. I can't just give you, we can't just give you just because you want, you have to actually do something. But when you do it, 
I got $50 of free gift cards, you know, for you. And again, these aren't goals that I'm setting for them. These are goals that they came up with. So we'd meet every so often and we would write new goals every time and we would try to, you know, reach those and then keep going. And they're really able to work in a way that is compassionate, yet still holds people accountable to the goals that they set for themselves and for the, the obligation that they have for their children. She will be ready to take the next step, but she would need me to take my step first in order for her to be able to help me. If I can't build that relationship with them, I can't have certain conversations. I probably can't say half the things that I say the way I say them, or just, again, being my authentic self, like, yeah, I'm really concerned. I haven't heard from you. How's everything going? You know, if you need me to call you back tomorrow, that's fine, but let me know where you're at so that I can meet you where you're at so we can move forward. She more works with you as a person more than a client. And it wasn't like, she was doing it because that was her job. It was like something that she had a passion for doing. It is a lot for, you know, the non custodial parents. A lot of the guys just working the system and knowing the system and knowing what the system offers, a lot of people don't know. She would help with child support needs, like if I needed a, a motion to uh, lower my child support or we need to make some adjustments, she would get that all handled. I really don't know what I would have done, like, without Rose at that time, you know what I'm saying? Because. I was really in a situation where like, you know, with kids and, you know, buying Pampers, you know, paying phone bills and paying for gas and things like that. Like, it just felt like I could breathe a little bit and, um, you know, focus on what I needed to accomplish next. Anything you possibly may need, she would be able to tap you into that. My child support has got terminated as of last week. Um, I got a letter from them, all my child support, all the rears, everything has got terminated. Just having roads in your corner and being able to have 100% of your rears that are owed to the state of Minnesota removed is, I mean, it just lifts like a ton of bricks off your back. You can basically wipe out possible support from your kids just being part of this program. That confidence of like, I did that for myself or my family or you know, for the fathers that actually created these businesses and, you know, have these careers, it's like, I did that. Like, when you look from where you've come from to where you're at, there was a lot of transition that took place. And I'm sure it feels good to be able to say, like, like, I did that. If I could be a part of the program to go out and get people to be a part of the program to make them feel more comfortable in it, like, I would do that. You're tired of, you know, maybe using or you're tired of being homeless or, Try to be in and out of jail. I mean, just sit down, you know, and, and talk to somebody in the Rose program or maybe somebody even in Ramsey County. This program is working. Um, it will actually help you. Just reach out. Even if you're not working or even if you're homeless or whatever the case may be, just reach out to me. Let me know what's going on with you so that, you know, we can help you. It felt good just to be a part of it. All I had to do was be on top of my goals. I'm happy I was a part of it. It changed me and my life around a lot. Um, I got, a, like I said, a great paying career now. Um, uh, I love it.